Today, Canadian Blood Services and the Bloodmobile is at Killarney Secondary School in Vancouver. And really what we're doing here today is to encourage and inspire high school students to donate and take part in our national high school blood donor challenge called Young Blood for Life. Since the minimum age one can donate blood is 17, all of these high school seniors are first time donors. You're all done. My sister donated blood when she was in grade 12, so I wanted to do the same because my teacher told me that people get into car accidents and then um, they need pints of blood. This morning I kind of woke up a bit nervous, but you know I had lots of water yesterday and today and I had a good breakfast, so I'm feeling pretty good. The process of donating blood takes about an hour with an initial questionnaire, a quick test of iron levels to make sure the donor is able to give, and then some time relaxing in the chair. It's pretty comfy, actually. Um, yeah, I could probably fall asleep right here. That's how comfortable it is. These Killarney secondary students are making a valuable yeah. contribution to a very important cause. It's a good thing to do to give blood, right? Because every person who gives blood can be saving someone's life. Every minute of every day, someone in Canada needs blood in our hospitals. So you can imagine that that need is very great. There's no other source of blood except from people donating it themselves. And here in BC, that means that we need to collect up to 10,000 donations every month so that hospital patients have the blood that they need. And with the help of these students participating in the Young Blood for Life program, that goal may be achieved. In Vancouver, I'm Kendall Harris for The Express.